on the backing of this, you will see um, they put an extra leather piece in. Uh, and what I found is you're going to take the poker, um, poke one side and two side, and then fit the hog ring in there. And then we're going to push that all the way down and hook that hog ring on the metal bracket. Um, and you'll do that for all three sides. Just work your way left to right. Um, and then that's going to uh, really adhere this to the main part. <clears throat> um, and you'll see that the things fall right in between the stitch lines. Um, and so that will line up the entire piece uh, correctly. And then we'll be able to go from there. Now all three of those are in and you can see that that uh, makes them like, nice and tight. Um, and it, it then now we can fold all the pieces um, and get that looking a lot better. Um, so then on the back of it they had staples in it uh, and what I'm going to do is just poke hog rings and get um, the leather as tight as possible and uh, this foam is pretty sturdy um, so I'm just going to put all the hog rings in um, this side. I'm also going to work from the sides uh, down um, and then the this part wraps and so does this part so um, just go up until the staples uh, ended so right about here and just go all the way down okay after wrapping all of it poking all the holes and getting the, the hog rings in um, it feels very good um, now this needs to be stretched onto the regular seat um, and then this backing uh, also gets stretched on so um, I'm going to do that now we look on the old seat um, up top there are these uh, plastic bits where the headrest goes in um, and so those need to be put on before uh, they need to be cut and uh, put on so uh, I will do that now um, get the markings all lined up and then we will be good to go okay so the back of the seat is all done uh, I just finished it up um, just so you guys are aware um, there will be a backing plate on this that covers all the way to about there um, covers all of this uh, so it looks really really good um, I went ahead and um, put a bunch of uh, hog rings around certain parts of the back of the seat so that it stays on but it looks really really good um, I'm super happy with how it came out and how it's looking um, again especially from where it started so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take off the rails of the bottom um, and this is where you just get a bunch of parts um, <clears throat> so we'll do that and then we'll be able to work on the bottom seat. So to remove this, uh, all we're gonna do is stick a screwdriver in here and pry up and that comes out. And then um, we're gonna get this little um, seat clamp off um, and then you remove two 17 millimeters uh, from this rod and then that loosens uh, the bottom piece we can go ahead and pull this out. Um, there's going to be O-rings on there. And I already pulled off the other uh, bottom piece. So um, this is loose now. Uh, and then once we get this off, uh, we're going to pull this up. And we'll be able to twist this and pull it straight off. So now that that clamp is off, uh, all we have to do is not pinch our fingers and then we'll just be able to pull it off. Now with that done, um, we just need to get this last piece off, um, which is down here. Um, and all you have to do is grab a piece of like pair of pliers and pinch this 
and then pull this rod through. I know that that's a little bit, you'll see it if you actually do this. Okay, now that the um, rails are off, uh, this is basically held on by the same exact way of just um, a bunch of hog rings and then um, these little leather hooks. Um, so we'll start disassembling everything. Um, this piece we can uh, disconnect so that we can pull this off. Um, there's two plastic bits that hold on this cushion. Um, so we'll just disassemble it and remove it um, and then we'll get a better look. So as you guys can see this is just completely destroyed with the ass sweat. Um, and then this is just like super dirty, um, very gross. Um, this is going to be like a whole new feeling. Um, but I think that I'm going to add uh, that in, um, that extra foam. I'm going to go ahead and just put this back on, um, put the foam on and see how that feels. Um, see if it's going to be too big. Uh, I don't imagine so. Uh, I think an extra cushion would be really good. Um, and I'll be just be able to, uh, put the stuff, uh, the leather directly over it. So I cut it a little bit down, um, shaved off the sides, and, uh, I'm going to, I just put this here, um, cause this is kind of the level that it sits. Um, and I think that once this is wrapped, it'll be a little bit higher, but not much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the holes um, for those things and then that's going to be pretty sturdy because um, uh, on the seat before it got rubbed down a lot and so it was sinking in and uh, I drive the car a lot so uh, I'm going to just add the foam um, and if nothing else I can just always take off the uh, upholstery, pull out the foam and uh, I won't be gluing it or ruining it um, by doing this. So um, it should be good. I'm going to make sure that everything fits, but it's good. So I'm actually really happy about how this came out. Um, I was able to uh, get the piece on there. It was actually too thick originally, so I had to shave some of it off very poorly. Um, but... Uh, I think that it worked, and it's holding, and it looks pretty good. Um, so a lot of this stuff I can kind of smooth out and um, work with, but uh, I didn't want it having being loose, because uh, then that just causes friction, and then uh, every time I get in and out of the car, it's going to wear on the leather. Um, so that's why I made sure to put that um, bolster in there and you can see that it's a very similar height to um, the old stuff so it shouldn't cause too much issue but it'll feel real nice so it's nice and tight leather and it looks really really good make sure that you're not worried too much about like the actual uh, hole cuts because um, with something like this like it's getting covered by the actual like metal piece so you're not gonna see like a crazy amount of like the actual seat so uh, I'm also gonna clean this off you guys can see that it's just dirty um, so I'm gonna make sure that the leather doesn't see any of that dirt so uh, but the upholstery or the bolstering looks pretty good um, it's in pretty good tact so um, we're going to get this finished so that we can get the seats back in. Okay, so I did the uh, same thing with the uh, bottom seat where I just took one side off and then matched the other side. Um, with this, uh, I actually didn't pull this lever off. Um, I just cut a hole into it. Again, you're not gonna see a lot of this, those bottom pieces. And then the cushion and padding on this side is a little bit like messed up. Uh, when I took it off, um, just with the years of worn, uh, like the wearing, um, but this little thing gets covered up. So if we take this, so when we actually put the seat fully in and fully on, 
um, it's going to cover up a lot of that stuff um, and it's going to look really good. So I'm going to work on getting this back on uh, the seat and then once we do that we can put all the rails back on. Uh, I'm going to make sure to clean all the rails and then uh, before I put them on. Uh, but we are trucking through this um, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so I got everything all put back together and it just looks incredible. I still can't get over this color um, and how good it looks and how like simple and easy it was to actually put on. Again, just a time consuming process. I truly believe that everyone can do this. But let's take a look at uh, how it turned out. Here they are. So the cushion looks really good. Um, Again, there's a little bit of stretching that needs to be done, but some of that will come out when, um, you know, get some heat in there and, and I actually sit in there. Um, the back still needs to be done, but um, they supplied a uh, cover for the backing, um, so I'll put that on a little bit later. I need to glue that, um, but in terms of the seat actually being done, it looks great. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, and the company could not have done a better job, especially for the price point. It was um, very much well worth the money. But I highly recommend um, adding this extra piping, um, the piping line, I think they call it. Um, it's well worth it. Uh, it makes it look a lot better. Um, <clears throat> but I will link uh, L seats in the comments down below uh, if you guys want to go check them out if you guys are looking for some sort of resto mod or anything like that to fix your seats um, and change the color maybe uh, or if you guys just want to you know do some sort of weekend project I highly recommend going with them go look for your model uh, in your year and they should have it they have tons of tons of options I've seen a ton of BMW guys uh, redoing their seats with them, um, and again, I could not recommend this more, uh, especially if you have an E30 or an older BMW. Uh, the seats get worn out, and they just, you know, kind of fall apart after 30 years. So this was very well worth it. Check them out. So I really love how the seats look in the car, um, just to show you guys. Um, this is great. Um... <clears throat> So with the, in terms of the, uh, like the seat, you can tell that I added a little bit of that foam, but I'm sure that this is going to kind of settle out. Um, the passenger side looks really, really good. Um, the back seats came out really well as well. Um, so it looks really, really good in here. Um, again, much better than before. Um, I need to change the steering wheel. Kind of get a little bit of other simple stuff done, but they look amazing. Um, the leather smells really good. Uh, it looks great, uh, and I could not be happier. And like I said, again, some of this little stuff is just um, my personal seats. Um, I need to pull that, stretch that side a little bit more. Um, but in terms of the other side, This one looks super, super good, um, and together they just look really, really clean. Um, so I'm super happy with how this turned out uh, and how they look in the car. Uh, leave a like and comment if you have any questions. Um, and until next time, my name is Ryan. This is Project Race Car. Have an amazing day. Peace.